It was do or die in the UND hockey game tonight against Omaha. The Fighting Hawks and the and the Mavericks, I'm sorry, have been squaring off in a best of three series to see who would clinch a berth to the the Frozen Four and who would play or whose season would come to an end. Tonight, their, their, their fate hung in the balance. Excuse me. We'll start things off in the third period. Omaha, they were losing 2-1 to one midway through the second. They were winning 2-1 to one midway through the second. Ryan Sidorsky leaves it back for Griffin Ness, who stables it in to give the Fighting Hawks their first lead of the game. Well, UND, they smelled blood. Tyler Clevin, the junior from Fargo, wins the puck at center ice and puts it past Omaha's goaltender to give the Hawks a two-goal advantage. North Dakota, they still weren't finished. Jude Clawfield rushes up ahead and drops the puck back for Gavin Hain, who puts the nail in the coffin. With their backs against the wall, UND scores four unanswered goals and wins 5-2 to two to keep their season alive. Being a referee can be one of the most thankless jobs in all of sports. The pressure an official faces on a nightly basis is unlike any other profession. One Dickinson-based official has faced the pressure head-on for decades, and after years of his service to North Dakota, he's finally hanging up the whistle. For 35 years, Troy Huber has worn the black and white stripes. I started basketball in 87 and I started uh, fall of 88 doing football. It all began when he was a sophomore at Dickinson State. It, it was one of those things where, you know, you're a poor college kid, you need, you need money for this, that, and the next thing. I remember my first City League game, I don't know that I blew my whistle more than five times. Now he's blown his whistle thousands of times, but he's still kept coming back. Part of it is I enjoy it. I still enjoy it. The other part is giving back to the to the to the kids. Troy spent this weekend in Fargo working the Class A basketball tournament. While it's special to be part of a state tournament, this weekend was special for other reasons. After decades of working in high school sports, this was Troy's last high school tournament. After 35 years, um, just one of those things where it, it's time. I, I'll still be around. I, I try and help out our local association, um, assigning games, you know, helping any young guys that we get in to, to guide them on the right path. Having been a referee for so long, Troy has built bonds that go beyond the baseline. It's really a brotherhood. I mean, I've got guys that I work with in uh, Dickinson, Bismarck, uh, Montana guys that come over and help us out, uh, Fargo, Willis, and Watford, every place. While Troy has given back to communities around the region, none of it would have been possible without his support system back in Dickinson. Um, without my family, I couldn't do it. Without my wife, there's no way. I mean, she was the one who was at home with three kids when I was out working basketball and football. And without her there at home, um, there's really no way I could have did it. The Huber family has grown up watching their dad race the sidelines. As he takes a step back from working high school games, the state of officiating is in a different place than it was 35 years ago. I think it's in a better place than it was when I started, obviously, 30 years ago. Um, but there's still room for improvement. I mean, there's always room for improvement. There's always stuff that we can do better. Uh, we're by no means perfect, but we do, you know, we strive to work a perfect game, but it, it's never going to happen. It's, it's one of those things where once you get involved, hopefully you never want to leave it. And, and we, we need officials. I mean, all sports, not just basketball. We need them in hockey, baseball, football. I mean, everything. In Fargo, for your news leader, I'm Jeff Roberts.